Hello. Welcome to the channel. Today is August 23rd. In this episode, we are going to share our observations and comments about CAAC releasing Civil Unmanned Aviation Development Roadmap version 1.0. On August 22nd, CAAC released notice of soliciting comments on the Civil Unmanned Aviation Development Roadmap version 1.0 draft for comment, here and after referred to as the draft. The feedback deadline for the draft is September 5, 2022. It should be noted that here, the word unmanned means unmanned driving or flying without onboard human pilot. At present, China's UAV industry has begun to take shape and has certain international competitive advantages. Under the premise of insisting on safety first, CAAC has adopted a more pragmatic and open approach to the airworthiness certification standards for UAVs. While changing lanes and overtaking brings opportunities, issues such as regulations and standards, airspace resources, and technical verification are also placed in front of the industry and regulatory authorities. The draft has proposed the development path of cargo first, then passengers, general first, then transportation, isolation first, then integration, and has set a series of development goals for the operation and management of the unmanned aviation industry. Next about development path. Development path. Cargo first, then passengers. General first, then transportation. Isolation first, then integration. Cargo first, then passengers means logistics flight first, then passenger flight. General first, then transportation means general aviation or small private aircraft flight first, then larger aircraft public transportation. Isolation first, then integration means isolated UAV flight first, then integration with other UAVs and traditional aircraft such as helicopters. Next, about the basic principles of the roadmap. Basic principles of the roadmap. Adhere to safety first. Correctly handle the relationship between safety and development, safety and efficiency, take safety as the foundation, take quality and efficiency as the guide, strengthen the coordination of operation, service and management, establish a feasible guidance mechanism, and comprehensively regulate civil unmanned aviation activities. Adhere to classified management. Follow the law of unmanned aviation development. Oriented to operational scenarios, based on operational risks, form three types of management mechanisms, open, specific, and approved. Scientifically implement classified management of airworthiness, personnel qualification, operation, and air traffic control. Insist on innovation-driven. Guided by the concept of digitization, networking, intelligence and green and low-carbon development, promote the deep integration of advanced technologies in multiple fields. Strengthen the main body of scientific and technological innovation. Gradually form a strong and intelligent aviation ecology in the aspects of digital industry, advanced manufacturing, green and low carbon, etc. Form a new pattern of co-promoting development. Adhere to openness and integration. Encourage and orderly promote the pilot and demonstration operation of typical operation scenarios. Promote the establishment of a collaborative management mechanism. Realize the coordinated supervision of military, civil aviation and local governments. Actively promote practical innovation achievements. Guide the development of global unmanned aviation technology and the formulation of international rules. Build a community with a shared future for development. Next about the development positioning of the roadmap. Development positioning of the roadmap. Serve the construction of smart civil aviation. Unmanned aviation is an important part of building a civil aviation power and smart civil aviation. From the top-level design, clarify the development orientation, goals and paths. Guide the healthy development of the industry. Achieve integrated operation. Strongly support the construction of smart civil aviation. Promote the innovation and development of the industry. Clarify the development direction and technical trend of the country's civil unmanned aviation. Accelerate the integration and development of communication, big data, artificial intelligence and other technologies with unmanned aviation. Further enhance the scientific and technological innovation capability and international leadership of civil aviation. Speed up the orderly landing of applications. According to the development positioning, goals and paths of civil unmanned aviation. Deploy technology, management, planning and construction in advance. Further regulate current and future unmanned aviation activities. 
Accelerate the implementation and promotion of application scenarios such as regional logistics, urban logistics, surveying and mapping, and emergency rescue. Achieve an overall breakthrough. Next about 5-year stepwise goals for specific development areas of the roadmap. 2025-2030-2035 goals for specific development areas of the roadmap. The draft also takes 2025, 2030, and 2035 as the time nodes for stepwise goals in specific development areas. The following are development areas with stepwise goals set for the three time periods corresponding to the time nodes. 1. From remote control to autonomous aircraft. 2. From digital to intelligent operating environment. 3. From automatic to intelligent control and operation. 4. From limited to comprehensive flight services. 5. From single to system supervision ability. 6. From cargo to passenger transportation capacity. Lengthy details have been provided in the roadmap for the three time nodes, and will not be elaborated here. Besides the goals for the specific development areas, the draft also provides the general goals for 2025, 2030, and 2035 time nodes. Next, about 2025 goals of the roadmap. 2025 goals of the roadmap. By 2025. Achieve a unified space-time benchmark. Improve the safe and autonomous flight capability and navigation support capability of aircraft. Reduce transportation costs. Takeoff and landing sites equipped with vertical takeoff and landing functions have appeared widely. Realize the rational allocation and flexible use of low-altitude airspace resources. Iteratively evolve UAV route setting standards. Aircraft fleet management capabilities have been improved, with automated emergency response capabilities. Make full use of existing communication, navigation and surveillance technologies to ensure flight activities. The construction of the unmanned aviation management system based on operational risk has been basically completed. The supporting unmanned aviation management regulations, normative documents and technical standard systems have been basically completed. Next, about 2030 goals of the roadmap. 2030 goals of the roadmap. Before 2030. Realize the digitization of airspace information. Establish and improve platforms and mechanisms for airspace sharing, data interconnection, efficient operation, and integration of management and services. Further expand the route network. Rationally lay out the takeoff and landing sites. Realize the sharing of resources such as airspace and airport facilities between manned and unmanned aviation. Through the application of new technologies, the capacities of transportation, flight activity support and flight service are further improved. Continuously reduce the operating cost of industrial applications. Gradually improve operating efficiency. Strengthen the standards promotion and internationalization. Strengthen the new core competitiveness of China's civil aviation. Help the country to leapfrog into multi-field civil aviation power. Next, about 2035 goals of the roadmap. 2035 goals of the roadmap. By 2035. Establish a manned and unmanned air transportation system. Realize a wide area transportation range and flexible efficient network layout. Realize digital flight activity assurance. Provide comprehensive flight services. According to the three steps of isolation, transition and integration, realize the integration of unmanned aviation into the national airspace system. Form a group of world-leading aviation manufacturing, flight monitoring, and operational service enterprises. Continue to improve the country's speaking right and role in unmanned aviation international rules and standards related organizations. Create a favorable environment for the country to fully participate in international competition. Next, about remarks from Ehang relevant person in charge. China Jin Yin Bao or China Business News also reported the CAAC roadmap and interviewed the relevant person in charge of Ehang who told the reporter that the draft has proposed to establish an unmanned or autonomous passenger air transportation system by 2035. The roadmap has undoubtedly pointed out the direction for the development of the country's urban air mobility industry from the perspective of top-level design, and will release major benefits for the domestic industry and further coordinate the development of the industry. The relevant person in charge of Ehang said. We are very much looking forward to the official release of the roadmap for the development of civil unmanned aviation, which will drive the establishment of a domestic unmanned aviation transportation ecosystem. Around the plan and guide of the roadmap, 
Eheng will also actively rely on our world-leading autopilot flight technology in command and dispatch system and make efforts to contribute to safe and autonomous flight, continuous flight assurance, exploration of low-altitude passenger flight application scenarios, etc. Help unmanned aviation integrate into the national airspace system and realize early the goal of establishing a manned and unmanned air transportation system by 2035. It is noted that the roadmap is up to 2035, which is considered as a relatively long term. Ehang may not need to wait for that long with respect to significant revenue generation from UAM. In a relatively near term, by 2025 or before 2025, there is plenty Ehang can do in the field of UAM, as shown in the 2025 roadmap. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.